Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good today. Happy Sunday. So once again, it is a lot of drama and tea that has gone on in the past 24 hours. I have been trying to keep up with this whole story between Cardi and Kenneth Petty and his Petty Dusty crew. So what's going down is that after I had made the video yesterday, um, the guy that goes by the name Sturdy, he decided to come online and basically tell his side of the story. But his energy was very different from what we saw the night before with him and the crew. You know, they were making all types of animal noises and growling. And, you know, they was just doing a lot at their big age. And so um, DJ Academics had posted this video where he's talking in his car. And he's basically saying, you know, he doesn't know what happened. They had a great time at the VMAs. He has no idea why this has spun into a bunch of drama. So I want y'all to go ahead and watch this real quick. Yeah, so the awards and everything, right? Basically. I don't even know how all this happened. I had a great time, great experience. Everything was positive. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, um, I guess they misinterpreted the, the, the video that when me and Zoo made, and we were just talking shit like regular shit, like, like Queen, Sturdy, all of that, everything like that. And then I guess Zoo made the comment like, you know, um, what was it? Oh, waiting for one of y'all niggas to act stupid. And that was it. That was all that was said. Now, I guess Cardi wrote something in, in, in regards to that. She didn't even flinch or whatever. All right, so y'all just saw him. Um, his energy was very, very different. You could definitely tell he was trying to walk back all the shit he was saying. It wasn't the same rah, rah, we on the block, we growling, we doing all this extra shit that, that we got the other day early in the morning in the middle of New York. Nigga, yeah. is, I got a Brooklyn hoodie on. Yeah. So I, they don't know where I'm from. They know where I'm from, no. no though. Might tell Offset, cause Offset DM me. He DM me. On, nigga that, DM nigga, Cuckoo. Man. We go. He off the set. That whole gang can suck a dick. Nigga, he <laughs> off the set. Now, what else is very interesting is that he also released the full DM between him and Offset. Initially, he had only put out just that snippet, and that was what I had read. So now we're going to see the full back and forth with him and Offset. I'm going to go ahead and read it to y'all here. So give me just a second. So Offset said, where you located? You niggas old ass in females business with no money for war. Don't post me either since you gangster, right? You live in Charlotte too. He replies back, he says, I'm outside heavy. I ain't hiding from near nigga, especially no rap niggas. Offset says again, you in Charlotte, right? You niggas is pussy posting females like that's tough. He says, I'm outside gangster. Shut the fuck up. You ain't even getting no get back for them niggas killing your people. Try me if you want, pussy. Offset says, you a grown 40 year old man talking shit about a woman, your pussy. He says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Set says, you niggas is too old, don't be outside. Also, you think what you think, but you broke and ain't far from me catching already. I'm not going to say shit else to you online. Then he says, I ain't hiding, my nigga. Set says, pussy gets stepped on. He says, get in line. Set says, get some money. <laughs> he says, on that pussy, you get shook because niggas say big queens, goofy ass niggas. Set says, you niggas was nowhere to be found. Niggas was outside in New York at parties. I post where I be. You niggas is really groupied out. Goofies, you niggas ain't standing on no business or no money. You broke, I can tell, goofy ass niggas. He says, use that money to get them niggas that killed your partner. My G, that's gangster. 
wow trash then he goes on to mention offset in his stories and then offset says this shit sucks and then he says we on our way offset says you niggas is on some internet shit then he posts some more stuff and then offset says not gangsta then he says nah nigga do your research heavy hitter then he says why you doing online though tough man get out my dms because it's up i'm not going to jail but we gonna meet soon then he says, if Nick, if niggas would have killed my nigga, I would have killed everything moving. That's facts. Everybody getting parked. Asa says, bro, you're not allowed in your hood. Now, remember that. Remember that for later. Then Seth says, I did research and I got you. Get out my DMs. He says, I've been there 20 years, sucker. Came home, no scars. Seth says, the clout not going to work. Get up with me. Then he says, are you serious? I can't go to my hood. And then Set just put down like a bunch of laughing face emojis. And then he finally writes, you a pussy nigga, wouldn't take. And then it cuts off. So that was the back and forth with him and Set in the DMs. And for him to be trying to basically get Offset to crash out. Again, this is why I tell y'all, people who have nothing to lose, people who have nothing going for themselves, that is the type of mentality that they hold. So he wants Offset, who is a father and a husband, to basically be the one to retaliate over Takeoff's death, as if Offset doesn't need to be free to take care of his family and his children. But again, this is the mentality of hood boogers who have nothing to lose, who they've just, you know, majority of their life has just been in and out of jail. So it's very interesting how he was talking tough in that DM, but then in the video, you know, he was sitting here acting super innocent, you know, it wasn't that serious, you know, what, no disrespect, but he was clearly adding Cardi, because like I showed y'all later on in that video when more information came out, because as I was editing the video, I was waiting for more info to come out, you could see where he was adding her and saying little slick shit to her, but now he's saying that that little threat that Kenneth made at the VMAs wasn't for them. You know, it's supposedly for, you know, it was about something else. But you can tell he's lying because he can't even make eye contact with the camera. He's looking up in the sky. I'm no body language expert, but I know when a fool's lying. And that's all I got from that. His energy was very different from the night before. So anyways, if y'all do not know, okay, it's very interesting how this went from VMA drama to now people are just making up shit about Cardi. Now they're trying to come after, once again, her relationship with Offset. Once again, they're trying to come after her father and regurgitate old fucking rumors that she has put an end to and that she had bought receipts for child damn near three years ago, back in 2020. So basically what happened is that yesterday somebody called Write a Rap Botched Bitch, um, yeah, real eventful name, um, they wrote Cardi B's father is a convicted R-word and a pedo too. And then they bought all these dusty receipts to basically prove that he was. And like I said, this is an old rumor that has been spread about Cardi B's father since 2020. And it's been debunked I don't know how many times. Let me take y'all back down memory lane. Back on March 16th of 2020, once again, you know, these rogue barbs, it ain't all the bars, but there's definitely some that just go out their way to fuck with this girl, definitely. So this was being reported by Ace Showbiz. They said reports are being brought to people's attention by a Nicki Minaj fan account who shares a screenshot of an article titled, Breaking News, Cardi B's Father is a Convicted Rapist Receipts Inside. Again, this was back on May 16th of 2020, okay? So, um... DJ Academics ended up posting this as well. The person was Onika Savage. And so Cardi B was replying back to DJ Academics. So I just showed you that article from 2020. So Hollywood Unlocked also posted that today and Cardi B clapped back. So I'm gonna go ahead and read you guys the post and we're gonna match them to what she said today and back in 2020. So they wrote, Cardi B claps back at Pages claiming that her husband Offset was cheating and Pages claiming that her father is a convicted rapist. So this person writes, Carlos Alamazar, 
to be exact, was convicted of raping a 14 year old girl in 1988. He was set to prison. Didn't even spell it right, but OK. He was set to prison for five years and released on February 4th, 1993. Read the text. That's the very reason of his daughter may be so protective over who exactly knows her father. And so they made up this fake report, um, has him as age 56, New York, New York. Um, they also have his race as white. We know he is a Dominican man. So then somebody replies back and they said, you're dumb as F. He was released in 1993, but Cardi was born October 1992. You definitely ate glue sticks and lick walls as a kid. So then these other people were saying this as well. What does it have to do with her birthday? He is a rapist and a pedo and a discussion. Superfly sister says, you're just as dumb as the person who posted it. I guess I got to break it down for you now. Y'all claimed he was in prison until 1993, but she was born in October of 92. That means she was conceived in January of 1992. So if he was locked up, how the F did it happen quickly? And then she replies and says, B, shut up. You only heard of conjugal visits because someone just said it and you ran to Google it. Where's his mugshot and what prison was he in? I'll wait. So then finally, Cardi B retweeted it and she says, first, it was the video lying on offset. Now it's lies on my dad. I'm pretty sure y'all know offenders have to take a picture every year. Keep it cute on family, especially offenders, pedos, and molesters, because everybody going to want to cry when I start talking about real pussy snatchers, okay? So Cardi let them know. And like I said, this is an old rumor that has been around for years by that particular fan base. Because if we go back to 2020, and I'm going to take y'all back to what she was telling DJ Academics. Okay, so she says the fact that y'all make these fake ass articles with no fucking sense. Wait, so if he was released in 1993, how the fuck was I born in 1992? Where's his 1988 mugshot? You see, you got to lie better than that. She wrote this three years ago. Then she says my father's name is Carlos Julio Almazar, an immigrant who came to America in 1990 from the Dominican Republic. If my dad would have committed any crimes, he would have been deported and wouldn't be able to get a job as a cab driver for nine years then she says you can search my dad's name up and down and hire a top tier investigator you can't even get a mugshot because my father never been arrested I find it disgusting that y'all have been trying to start rumors about my family because y'all hate me I won't let it tarnish my family, never. Then she says, if you're an immigrant in this country, especially from a third world country, you can do the smallest crime. You can sell a dime of weed and you will be arrested and deported. So don't even try your weird shit, pinning shit on my family because y'all feel guilty about something. Then she says, and by the way, my father used to help artists come to America from the Dominican Republic. One of his best friends is the biggest artist, Dr. Fifa. Y'all can ask about my father. Never had that shit in his record. Y'all tried it, though. So that was Cardi basically, you know what I'm saying, talking about that situation back in 2020. And it's very interesting that now, because they're trying to deflect from what Nikki's husband did and how he carried himself with his homeboys the other night, now they're bringing back old articles that are lies. And then now they're also saying that Offset, while he was doing the whole live stream with Kai Sinat, that somehow he had a girl at Kai Sinat's house and he was cheating. So this person that's so bold is once again starting rumors. He says Offset seems to be cheating again on Cardi B during Kai Sinat's stream with another woman. And this fool goes on to say, so the ones that's confused, there's a girl that was in the room. She hasn't shown herself in the stream, but you can hear her right before they went upstairs. She didn't go she didn't go the way Offset went, but there's another door to the left of them. But apparently they went upstairs together. And then he goes, well, the cat's out the bag. You know, just being messy, just child lying, just to be lying, child, is to be expected. This went so viral that even Drama Alert posted it. So we're going to go ahead and watch the video that Drama Alert posted on Twitter. Let's go ahead and check this out. <laughs> He made yeah. food for the world. Everything's great. Everything's great. Everything's great. Y'all dropped the link for the video on it? Huh? Y'all dropped the link for the video too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Take that. Yeah, Okay. Yeah, Joe, that's good. Yeah. 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 It'll be him and Kyle riding in the Cadillac oh, down Crenshaw. I told you. It'll be him and Kyle riding down Cadillac in the Crenshaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you he was using bathroom. God damn. Bathroom break. Get the all right, so you guys just watched that video. So they tried to spin that to say that Offset was over there cheating, but Kai Sinet came out and basically shut down the rumors. So this is what Kai Sinet had to say about the situation. So Kai says, this was all the way cap. He was trying to duck some smoke from us, drowning him with the water. The people that came in my room was his team that was there for the release of the music video. At least go back and watch this stream to see what's going on, bro. We had an amazing fun night together. Don't start saying anything. So that's what Kai wrote. And then Cardi replied back. And she says exactly, the fact that they had to watch a 24 hour stream to fake piece things together is embarrassing. They some do bads, laugh my ass off. So that's what she had to say. And now what I find very interesting is that they went to piece together this video and try to make Offset look bad and act like Kai Sinat was involved with letting, you know, girls come to his house to smash Offset. But I also find it very interesting that, you know, Nikki did a live stream with Kai Sinat a few months ago and there were no issues. Nobody put out rumors on her. You know, they had a good time. So why couldn't they have let Offset enjoy his time there? You know what I'm saying? Streaming with him, dancing and everything else. Why did they then have to make it a whole issue with him cheating at Kai Sinat's house. I just find that very, very interesting. I find it very funny that anytime, you know what I'm saying, Nikki and her crew is being held accountable for anything because again, that viral video was not a good look for her or her camp whatsoever. All of a sudden now, here comes the fake cheating stories. Here comes the pedo daddy stories and everything else. At this point, people are tired of the nonsense, the fake rumors, you know, the reaching that these blogs are constantly doing. So right now, if you guys don't know, surviving the petties is once again trending and people are dragging the petties, okay? Kenneth and Nikki included. And what's going on now is I feel the reason why that dude Sturdy is now switching up his tone is that they're not pulling receipts where people have been going to, like, I guess, real dudes who are about that life in Queens. They've been going to them on social media about Zoo and Zoo's crew. And now these guys from Queens are starting to speak up. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of these screenshots right here. So this girl named um, Kashika says, Queen's been done with Nikki and her fake goon husband, Kenneth, and the on-duty crew. This is from July 13th of 2023. When they gave Nikki Minaj the warning, these guys are from Queens, Southside Jamaica, is where they rep, and Nikki and her husband are not welcomed. So this person is I Am Fly Ty, says... The jicks is up. No more using my brother Webb and Nitty's name for clout. And you ain't trying to help niggas situation. This is why I blocked you and cursed you out. When you got mad at me for not cutting at Meek Mill off when y'all broke up. Meek could confirm. Your baby father is a nobody to me. He wasn't outside when I was outside. I was sparing him for my brother. But y'all niggas know what it is with me. Don't mention my brother or Nitty in none of your records. I said what I said. And he still got the same old AP I had when I was robbing LOL. He might want to come work for me the fuck. Then they also posted this. Um, these niggas know what it is with me. You got mad at Webb for not going at... Only Jason Lee and at Hollywood Unlocked. And then he wrote, she's a very nasty person, nasty work. I am fly tie. So this was somebody else reposting what this person had wrote when he was adding Nicki Minaj. So remember when I told you to remember what Offset wrote in that DM to the dude uh, Sturdy when he was like, you're not even welcome in your hood? Well, this is what the hood is saying, that nobody's messing with Kenneth Petty or Kenneth Petty's crew. So then somebody else wrote this. 
somebody named Papa Razzi, P.O., I don't know how to say his name, child. Um, but they wrote this. Listen, all the niggas in my DM telling me to take the zoo post down, call your man and tell him let's take it to the ring. We not little dirty niggas no more, standing on corners making threats. We grown gangsters, let's play ball. Then he says, stop coming in my comments, talking about Zoo a Big Mac, cause he not, let's start there. All right, so like I said, this entire situation has been crazy, everything that's gone down this weekend, you know, but I just hope that none of this stuff takes it to the streets. I don't think that it's that serious. This is literally some rap beef between females. And now you got men involved in this and you have them, you know, acting a fool on social media looking for clout. I really think at this point, they're the ones clout chasing. I think that these dudes were looking for a way to go viral. They kept at her, it wasn't working. And so as soon as Offset jumped in his DMs, he looked at that as a way to get clout off of that. Because Offset DM me. Damn me. And I honestly wish that set, like I get it, I get defending your wife, trust me, and I get that it gets frustrating, but I hate the fact that anytime these people get a little bit of clout, anytime they get a little bit of attention from a celebrity, they're running to social media with it. That's what they're doing. That's what he did. He got him in his DMs. He was super happy. He wanted to act all rah-rah to, you know, go viral and everything else. And I'm sorry, this was not a good look. I think the whole thing looks bad on their end, especially. You know, they're sitting here going back and forth, growling. I mean, that whole three minutes was just embarrassing watching that, you know. And it's sad because, again, all these folks are grown with children. And for people to be willing to crash out over silly shit, it just does not make any sense. Again, like I always say, when you have things to lose, you got to move accordingly. And this isn't smart. And unfortunately, Kenneth is tied to Nikki. So everybody's saying this has nothing to do with Nikki. This has nothing to do with Nikki. That is her other half. That is her husband. That is her baby daddy. So the things that he does, it is a reflection of her. That's just what it is. Just like whenever Offset does something, y'all be so quick to say it's a reflection of Cardi. So why does it change depending on who it is? You know what I mean? So I just feel like at the end of the day, the shit is not a good look. And I find it very interesting that old boy's backtracking. And I think he's really backtracking because some of them goons in NY were coming at him. So now he wants peace and now he wants to, well, we didn't, it wasn't no shot at her and this and that. But if it wasn't, why are you not explaining why y'all was outside at one, two, three o'clock in the morning, hooping and hollering and carrying on? So I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how all this plays out. Like I said, I'm going to stay on top of it. You know, I'll bring y'all, you know, as I get more information, I will do updates. But the whole situation at this point is tacky. Folks is way too blown for this shit. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Tea sippers, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on all this mess. How do y'all feel about old boy um, sturdy now trying to backtrack and talk nice? Um, how do y'all feel about the goons in New York? You know what I'm saying? Basically calling them out and saying, you know, don't put our, don't, you can't stand next to us. And then how do y'all feel that now all of a sudden these fan pages are coming up with fake stories? I feel like they're coming up with fake stories to deflect because that whole situation yesterday did make Nicki Minaj look bad let's just keep it real that was her husband on the corner hooping and hollering so I think now they're trying to come up with these stories with cheating and the daddy and everything else you know what I'm saying to try and deflect and people aren't having it anymore hence why surviving the petties is now trending once again so go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to like the video feel free to share the video and most importantly make sure you still subscribe to the channel because you know YouTube loves unsubscribing folks and I would talk to y'all Later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.